The company that created the Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs, Yuga Labs, has slapped artist Ryder Rips with a lawsuit, alleging that he has been infringing their trademarks by selling copycat versions of those much-loved, much-reviled apes. Rips has been accused of tricking customers who might have thought they were buying authentic apes as opposed to satirical substitutions. Luckily for you, Crypto Clipper, we've got answers prepared just for you. Watch this video to ease your curiosity about Board 8 Yacht Club C's copycat artist, Ryder Rips. If you don't know who Ryder Rips is, Rips has a long career in the art world, working with and about the internet throughout his entire career. Rips has had many solo exhibitions and has also worked with major celebrities, brands, and companies. Rips, whose work has been called appropriation art because he is remixing objects from other sources, said his project was taking the power of NFTs in a way that didn't involve copyright law but did allow purchasers to create unique and beautiful designs. He had previously done this by selling modified CryptoPunks. A lawsuit filed against Rips on Wednesday grossly mischaracterized his latest project, he said on Twitter, which buyers were explicitly informed that it was not an official board ape. In January, Rips began posting on his social media accounts about similarities between the visuals used by BAYC and those used by Nazis and white supremacists. For example, Rips pointed out that the BAYC logo appears to be quite similar to the Nazi Totenkopf emblem. Rips also conducted an interview with Know Your Meme on the subject. The question of whether Yuga Labs founders of BAYC were racist soon became a debate on social media. The actions described in the complaint have been named as a campaign of harassment based on false accusations of racism. In May of this year, Rips released an NFT project by calling it RR slash BAYC or Ride Rips Board Ape Yacht Club. This project ripped imagery and names from BAYC in a conceptual art protest. It is claimed that the RR slash BAYC has hurt the business of Yuga Labs. This complaint goes on to state that RR slash BAYC is deliberately confusing the potential BAYC customers by pretending to be affiliated with Yuga Labs. OpenSea, the marketplace for trading NFTs, has consistently delisted RR slash BAYC. Rips denies there were any wrongdoing that misled buyers. The founder of the firm behind Board Ape Yacht Club's NFTs, Yuga Labs, is suing LA-based artist Ryder Rips for branding his own versions of those highly loved and highly reviled apes. He claims Rip has been infringing on trademarks by doing so. According to Rips, the apes with which he sells copies of themselves have been linked with to subversive internet Nazi troll culture and the versions he has been selling are satirical appropriations. Yuga has called the accusations libellous. The company alleges that Rips has confused customers and he has made $5 million according to a reliable source. The lawsuit states that copying work from an original creator is not satire, it is theft. And lying to consumers is not conceptual art and it is about deception. And yes, because of this, Rips has been feuding with Yuga Labs for months on account of their RR slash BAYC NFT series that contained BAYC imagery but connected them to different crypto tokens and were sold for around $200 a pop. A bargain compared to the real thing, which sell for around $100,000 US dollars. The lawsuit alleges that these RR slash BAYC NFTs are not just a case of monkeys swiping bananas away from each other. It's a deliberate attempt to harm Yuga Labs and damage consumers by causing confusion about whether these RR slash BAYC NFTs are either sponsored, affiliated, or in any way connected to Yuga's official Board 8 Yacht Club. As we've mentioned just recently, Yuga Labs filed a complaint on June 24th accusing rips of false advertising, trademark infringement, and cyber squatting, among other allegations. The complaint also names Jeremy Cahan, the founder of NFT Marketplace, not Larva Labs, and Tan Doos as defendants. The lawsuit alleges that Rips has been falsely advertising on his website and infringing on the company's intellectual property. The plaintiff is asking for damages and also wants him to stop using confusingly similar domain names such as apemarket.com. 
When the Bored Ape Yacht Club became popular, Defender Ryder Ribs, a self-proclaimed conceptual artist, started poaching sales from Yuga Labs by using the original logo to create a scam. He calls his copies of Bored Ape Yacht Club items and says they are RR slash BAYC and they want you to pay him for them. Rips responded to the lawsuit. The lawsuit grossly mischaracterizes the RR slash BAYC project. People who reserve RR slash BAYC NFT understood that their NFT was being minted as a protest against and parody of BAYC, Rips said in a statement released to Twitter. And no one was under the impression that the RR slash BAYC NFTs were substitutes for BAYC NFTs or would grant them access to Yuga's club. They explicitly acknowledge a disclaimer when they purchased it. A type of blockchain-based technology, NFTs were developed in order to allow files such as documents, images, and songs to have an identity created for them. Added to circulating data, the proponents believe that these unique identities will improve the quality and reliability of its recorded data. Questions of copyright law and what it means to own a digital file, seen as a hotbed for innovative production, NFTs are also raising issues about how security laws apply to crypto fundraising. The Bored Ape Yacht Club is a decentralized brand that empowers its token holders by providing easy access to the content of their NFTs in an attempt to build trust and monetization. The club has expanded on its lore via fan art and open-themed restaurant with an ape theme. In response to a claim made by Rips that the work was satirical commentary, Yugo Labs has rejected this claim and said this is a part of a long-running vendetta perpetrated against the company by Rips. Rips alleges that his content makes frequent mentions of coded white supremacist terms in one of their blog posts, including the creator's pseudonyms, the BAYC logo, and alluding to intelligent humanoid apes. He once more claims that these are part of the broader racist tradition of comparing black people to apes. However, while these claims have been disputed, Rip's most recent blog post has sparked concerns from the Anti-Defamation League about these allegations. Since then, Gordon Goner, on behalf of Yuga Labs, has provided a lengthy response to Rip's allegations on Medium. The complaint comes after Rip's landed a number of blows over the last month. Recently, in May, Rips outwitted a DMCA takedown request related to RR slash BAYC. Then, last week, YouTuber Philion, who goes by Philion, published an hour-long video on BAYC and its purported connections to racist messaging. The video has been viewed more than 1 million times. Additionally, last week, RR slash BAYC traded at a higher rate than BAYC. For Rips, the RR slash BAYC project uses satire and appropriation to protest and educate people about BAYC and NFTs. The complaint also alleges that consumers are being deceived by who are buying and reselling the RR slash BAYC NFTs despite knowing they are fake, listed as DOS 6-10. RIPS is alleged to have committed the same offenses. In July of 2018, Rips punked the early crypto punks by copying slash pasting a punk file and then minting his own token and using it as his profile picture on social media platforms like Twitter. Rips copy slash paste was identical to the original digital art asset by Larva Labs in 2017 except for the token attached to it. When Larva Labs released the live stream at the same time as a rare punk icon, Rips told Coindesk that he questions their motive for disrupting art and punk. Larva Lab's understanding of art is questionable, their understanding of punk is questionable, and their understanding of cryptocurrency slash NFT is too. In the past year, Rips has also sought to draw attention to supposed racist tropes present in the Board 8 Yacht Club. At his website known as the Gordon Goner, he examines what he calls dog whistles and Nazi imagery in the series. People are often surprised by just how far 4chan trolls will go, Rip said. I was surprised to find the obscure references and inside jokes that led me to it. Yuga Labs has denied Rip's allegations and outside observers have said that some of his claims are superficial, spurious, or coincidental. An NFT collector who goes by Crystal.eth 
H comments on Coindesk, I've been following his work for years and have even invested in some of his RR slash BAYC is the dictionary definition of cryptofluorine, which is a rare element he creates with black powder, she said. Even though the crypto market has seen a sudden dip, RIPS is still experiencing bumps on its way to launch. Its debut was also hampered by BAYC's Metaverse project, which has received criticism from some entrepreneurs. On the other hand, it recently became the target of Eminem and Snoop's recent music video that promoted the artist to wear a suit of armor made up of rare crypto collectibles called Bored Apes. RIP has raised questions about how copyright law should apply to crypto art. In this case, RIP's work is a set of photos and not an actual physical product. This lawsuit does not accuse Rips of copyright infringement, only that he is confusing people. So, rather than offering early insight into how courts will treat that issue, it relies on factors like whether Rip was legitimately confusing people with his work or whether people were buying into the project specifically because it wasn't BAYC branded. While some brands are boycotting, the BAYC is continuing to grow. Justin Bieber, Jimmy Fallon, and Snoop Dogg are among others that have joined the Yacht Club. The latest sale of virtual land totaling $285 million helped contribute to an increase in Ethereum transaction fees, while the network saw its fourth highest trading week in history just before the sale. Yuga Labs recently closed a $450 million funding round led by Anderson Horowitz. There's a film series planned. There are features in the works and new cryptocurrency opportunities for Yuga that are attracting the attention of other business development teams away from Ethereum. RIP's current project started by having an argument with some prominent NFT influencers. The tweet of Jimmy's profile picture being copied was used as a proper response to that claim, stripping ownership rights for the value that held on to the token. On fair use, copyright laws protect content, so as long as it is being used for a transformative purpose, Purpose. For example, an author may freely review, comment on, or parody a work. Articles can be unique and accurate because of the fair use doctrine and your First Amendment rights. That's it for this video, Crypto Clipper. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!